What's up guys? It's coming guys. Jeremy here. Boom! And today is an important day for you and for me guys. The top 10 most complimented fragrances, the best, most appealing, sexiest fragrances that are currently on the market updated you know this is my third video every year this is the most requested the most anticipated video from you guys that you want to see and it only shows how much we all like to be appreciated by the masses why we love to dress nicely hey guys jeremy fragrance here the number one fragrance icon <laughs> 10 fragrances for the rest of my life so what I will tell you now is very weird. So as you know, sugar is a type of a drug and also I'm addicted to sugar. My favorite addiction of sugar is dates. So I love dates. And yesterday I had an over excess of dates. There was already a time when I ate so many dates that I didn't like myself and I threw them in the trash. And in the night I got them from the trash out and kept on eating them. Now, what I did to prevent that, I took dog shit and mixed it with the dates here. But even then, here are the dates. But even here, I gave myself the option that they are still wrapped in the package right here. And I could still technically eat them because they didn't touch it. What's up guys? Jeremy here. Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. One of the most popular niche fragrances in the world. I'm gonna tell you what girls think about this fragrance. I'm gonna give you my take. And in the end, I'm gonna tell you, should you buy it or is it simply overpriced? We're gonna start off, obviously, how does it smell? It smells like, guess what? Tobacco and vanilla. Such a simple but yet perfect fragrance in what it wants to be a very strong winter fragrance or upscale fragrance. All right, guys, what are some new fragrances at the airport? So, let me see. We have new Gucci. We have some new Gucci's. Gucci Flora, gorgeous jasmine. Smells like soap in a pleasant way. I like it. Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum. Smells like the original Gucci Guilty Black, which I like. It's good. Number 10 spot, Versace Dylan Blue. A mix of Dior Sauvage, Aqua di Gio Profumo and that's pretty much it. You get the masculinity, the patchouli and incense from Aqua di Gio Profumo and the sexy fresh Ambroxan bergamot long lasting freshness that is so crazy how long lasting this is for a fresh fragrance from Dior Sauvage. Ladies love this thing. You can wear this all season, all occasion. Awesome compliments already for this one. Very strong. Next year, maybe it will be higher. Number 10 spot, Dylan Blue. Jamie Fragrance here. 10 must buy fragrances. You must buy them. Nautica Voyage. Sexy, fresh and clean, long lasting. Halloween Man X. Sexy, sweet, long lasting. Yop Om, sexy, sweet, long lasting. <laughs> Number two spot is Dior Sauvage. Hygienic, uh, fresh out of the shower style. It is super long lasting because of the Ambroxan. Um, I even give out constantly compliments to other guys that this, they wear this friends. Man, I got such a good body, bro. So lean. But we talk about Dior Sauvage versus Bleu de Chanel. Both are good, but both have a weakness. This is not so timeless as this. Man, I'm so ripped, it's almost, it's almost too much, I'm so ripped. However, this is not so long lasting as this. And this is not so timeless as this. So buy my fragrance called Office for Men. 
It's timeless, long-lasting and sexy. We want to keep it a little bit original, but I can't deny its success. Um, I remember one night where this gave me so many compliments. Uh, not kidding you, at least 15 compliments in one night. Highly, highly, highly suggested if you want a great all-season, all-occasion compliment monster. Job Om, surprising fragrance for some, but I think this will also be very still or possibly rediscovered by some people that don't know it yet. Job Om, very good, cheap fragrance, about 20 years old. It's called Perry Alice 360 Red, my number eight by Perry Ellis and this is the 200 and Albaro I think it's cost about 35 to 40 dollars amazing value for the fragrance you're getting this smells manlier than Aqua di Gio actually it doesn't smell necessarily better I'm not telling you it just smells manlier this has a bit of pepper inside Perry Alice 360 Red. I love it, man. It's the dildo of the fragrance industry. And yeah, it's not so funny actually. Still don't know how to talk about the topic of masturbating. It's difficult, man. I, I do it, but I don't come. And you know, it's, it's just like a, if I can be that honest, but <laughs> it's simply to boost my power type of vibe. All right, ultimately, of course, I want to have a girlfriend and a wife, turning that girlfriend into a wife and have great kids. So that's Perry Alice 360 Red. Top 10 outdated fragrances for the new year 2022. Nordica Voyage, because we have now other fragrance that smells like fresh shower gel. In this case, it would be Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. But I would just go for Nordica Voyage, the best high heat fragrance. And now I do some jump ropes. Kick some ass, baby. This is Lone by Yves Saint Laurent. Why only indoors? Because this doesn't sh smell like some tree or fruit or something outside. It's really hard to describe how this actually smells, but it has a very ultimately pleasant, sexy, um, I don't know, really a nice scent to it, which works perfect indoors. Ouch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh. Hey, we gotta do the spin. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Hello. Jeremy here with Naomi. What's up? Fantastic. <laughs> Naomi is back on Instagram. I think yeah. you should all follow her right now. This is her Instagram yeah. channel. And today we're gonna smell the Crete fragrances. Oh, nice. Today I did not jerk off before my video, which I normally do, but I keep my semen to have a maximum impact in my face. I use this technique in certain videos, but if you overdo it, it's too much. So you got to handle and understand your sexual energy gives you ultimate power. It gives you the strength to convince people. This is Jeremy and today I am booked as a model. Yes, this happens from time to time. Still smells good. Wow, there's a lot of going on right here. 
Und ähm, deswegen habe ich gedacht, ich mache mal so ein bisschen Hast du nicht auch bei der Miss Köln? Genau, da war ich auch dabei. Ja. Hey, der Jens und ich? Guck mal, wir müssen mal mit rein. Guck mal, Jens und ich. Wir sind auch dabei. Heute. Wir haben ja, ich glaube, 25. Den ganzen Abend für das Internet festhält. Es ist sehr sexy, man wird ständig angeknabbert und ich kann mich nicht beklagen. Nee, ich wie die Menschen von Rolex aussehen, nee. ich weiß es. Okay, und wie sehen sie aus? Also eigentlich könnte ich auf, ja wir wollen jetzt über Sport reden, ja. aber Rolex Leute, die sehen eigentlich aus wie euer Head of Social Media. Okay, und so sehen die aus. Media. Also so vom Alter und so Wir müssen vielleicht beschreiben, weil die Zuschauer sehen ihn ja nicht. Ja, also so, so schlank. Ja. Und, und gut aussehend, so deutsch aussehend, aber jetzt auch nicht so spectacular crazy. Ferrari Number One, habe ich auch einen, reicht auch. Okay. Eine, ein Ferrari reicht, eine Uhr reicht. Warum jetzt nicht 5.10 Uhr? Weil ich hatte auch mal 5.29 Uhr ausprobiert, einfach um eine Minute früher als die meisten zu sein, die 5.30 Uhr nehmen. Mhm. Habe ich mal 4.39 Uhr ausprobiert, da hatte ich eine ketogene Ernährung, wo ich keine Kohlenhydrate nehme. Mhm. Dann dachte ich, oh geil, guck mal, wie früh ich immer aufstehe, ohne Probleme. Aber in Wirklichkeit ist das der Körper, der sagt, du Ficker, Alter, du gibst mir gar keine Kohlenhydrate. Mein Stressfaktor ist so hoch, ich baller dir so viel Cortisol rein. Mhm. Und dann denke ich mir erstmal okay, geil, guck mal, wie früh ich wach bin. Mhm. Aber eigentlich sagt der Körper, du bist jetzt wach, damit du was isst, Mann. Weil die Menschen können nicht nur von Gemüse und Fleisch leben. Does anybody recognize this girl? Woo. Everybody loves her. Miss Germany, I, most attractive girl in the world. Oh. Sexy men's fragrances. Let's see if this woman will respond. Can you tell me what fragrance is sexy for men? Which do you like for guys? What is a sexy fragrance? Dior Sauvage, Creed Aventus, Bleu de Chanel. Do Bleu you know? Chanel. You like Bleu de yeah. Chanel? Giorgio Armani. Versace one. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, it's sex in the forest, but you don't like it. <laughs> no. um, so Because rate the needles and you know all the. <laughs> you have to watch the camera. What would you rate this from one to ten? If ten is the best fragrance in the world. Two. A two. Yeah. All right, that's fair. I think somebody knows me right here. Hey Jungs. Sag mal, kennt ihr mich von YouTube? Wo, woher kennt ihr mich? Ihr seid in meinem Video jetzt drin. Wohl oder übel. Hey guys, look. Sexy boys right here in Germany. What fragrance is sexy? Dior Sauvage. Okay. You guys, Jeremy here. And this is the ultimate battle, Lanoui de Lom versus Lanoui de Lom Intense. I got the current Miss Germany right here, and she answered us the ultimate question, if the new Intense version is better than the old superstar. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Sick. Okay, so I gotta tell you guys, my preference definitely still is Lanoui de Lom. Although she said she likes the intense more, but I don't really care. Yves Saint Laurent, I assume they have better ingredients. Get this one, must buy, but be aware, only wear this in close encounters with your girl or wife, because this does not strengthen through the whole world. I mean, you know what I mean. It's not powerful, mega powerful, but for a date, it's timeless. Oh, it's so good. Blind smelling fragrances. Okay, now I know the bottle. Lasciatemi cantare con la chitarra in mano. Lasciatemi cantare. Ouch. Yeah. As what I heard officially that's why only an honorable mention otherwise great fragrance if you can get it cheap get it second honorable mention is a fragrance it's a celebrity fragrance all right this is called Adam Levine as you can see this is a microphone you could say it's a more young version not so metallic smelling version of 212 man by Carolina Herrera is what I heard on how you pronounce that stuff. Wörtern, wie zum Beispiel dem Wort V I E L L E I C H T. Wann immer ich das gesagt habe, habe ich mich bestraft 
mit Liegestützen, um das aus meinem Wortschatz zu brennen. Und irgendwann war ich so krass, dass ich meinen Wortschatz sehr genossen habe. Und ich trainiere morgens auch meine Nase mit Duftnoten und so. Und als ich da Duftnoten falsch gemacht habe, oder das von, auch von, von 55 Duftnoten drei falsch gemacht habe, Liegestütze. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time with another one. Peace.